of giving. The power of giving is greater than the joy of receiving. Art of giving something to other is an art of crowning your heart. Givers don't remember to ask. They don't remember to ask. Solomon did not ask. And God said, I have given to you the things you did not ask. Start giving. Start giving. Welcome to guide your day with Prophet Zachariah. shall be taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 2 which says so when you give to the needy do not announce it with trumpet as the hypocrite do in the synagogue and on the street to be honored by others truly I tell you they have received their reward in full the world and the people need you today be generous be kind be a giver even without doubting bring the greatest satisfaction in life because it makes you feel your life as a purpose when you are able to support people in any way you feel your life is worthy there's always someone more needy than you if you are able to support anyone in the time of real need that is when it really matters to them everyone is capable of giving because giving is not about how much you have but the intention you have a good intention will turn even down even that little timely help into the biggest support give with your full heart with pure feeling without looking for a personal benefit that is the true meaning of giving and that is what will become true help for those who need no one is too poor that does not have anything to offer and no one is too rich that cannot receive it is in giving that we receive be a good giver giving can serve as atonement for our sin let's be charitable and teach our children how to be a generous bless you too in the mighty name of jesus giving is living giving is like sowing the seed so if you sow in good deed you will surely reap it likewise if you sow an evil seed evil also await you that is giving and sowing is for one's benefit hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus god will be glorified over your marriage god will be glorified over your sheep this will work for you perfectly in this week I can't wait to congratulate you in this week I can't wait to congratulate you because in this week people will gather to say congratulations to you yes so shall it be that is a promise of God. God know that your silent prayer. So definitely is going to turn your silent prayer to a public testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a prophecy from the Lord to surely come to pass. Because every prophecy from the Lord surely come to pass. That your silent prayer your silent weapon shall turn to public testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. God had come in with stamp it and make it to come to reality in the mighty name of Jesus. No more barrenness, no more sickness, disappointment and failure. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are unstoppable. Heaven will bless you. Heaven will congratulate you. In the name of Jesus.
this kind of front a situation aka a global testimony will you be a global testimony outreach where you can trace movement in Instagram at global testimony tv then testimony premium pay will you be a facebook page where you link content with god do you want to experience them and want to be in all your life then plus live every day teaching salvation healing deliverance mercy and more then you My name is Prophet A. Zachariah Obusola. You know as Global Testimony. You can connect with me on YouTube. You can connect with me on Instagram. You can connect with me on Twitter. You can connect with me on Facebook. The name that you use to search is Global Testimony TV. And this is my call, calling number for prayer and counseling. You can call on WhatsApp. This is the number. Close 234 20 You are the best to be celebrated. I can't wait to see you carry your baby. I can't wait to see you receive a document in that country. I can't wait to see you getting married this year. I can't wait to see you doing good things. All these things shall come to reality in the name of Jesus. And all these things will come to reality in the name of Jesus. When Jacob bless his angel, he hold his angel that if you don't bless me, I will not let you go. Someone is under this calling. You are holding this authority now. You are holding this anointing now. This anointing will bless you. This anointing will deliver you.